friends. Yes. And we are all invited to come. Everyone is invited. You've been doing this since 2016. Yes. What has been the impact of the concert so far? Well, a lot of people have responded to it and lives have been transforming. Our perception about heaven has been, you know, been changed and upgraded. Okay. Yeah. What was our perception about heaven before? You know, when they talk about heaven, people just talk about going to live in a place of straight of gold, but they tend to forget that it's not only about what you receive, but what you give to God. And we need to have a mentality of giving, not always asking and receiving. Mm. So that is the main concept about it. I see. Yeah. And this has been the aim of the concert from the inset. Yes. Yeah. So when you started um, in 2016, I think I might have heard about it in 2018 or so. Yes. Before was, COVID. Yes. Yeah, before COVID, that was 2019. That was the Hallelujah edition. Yes. Yes. Was that your biggest edition? Yeah, our biggest edition was 2022. Last, last year. year. Yes. All right. What are you going to be doing differently this year? So this year, by the grace of God, we are launching an EP. Okay. Yes, we had a live recording last year, and then we are launching an EP this year, five songs, um, originally written by me and then the choir. We saw you singing just now. Yes. You have an amazing voice. Thank you. <laughs> so you are a pastor and a singer. Yes. Or your ministration is through singing? Through singing. All right. And the two of you are related? Yes, it's my older brother. <laughs> I see. Music runs in the family. <laughs> your brother and sister. Yes, please. Can I ask you to sing? <laughs> Okay. Give us a little something, something about what we should expect on Friday. All right. Big bro. What do we sing? We cast our crowns mm -hmm. before oh, your, your throne. throne. Great Jehovah, none like you. Cast our crowns. Before your throne, great Jehovah, none like you. Woo! Wow, I can't sing to save my life. So when I hear people sing, it's beautiful. So you write your own music, yes. worship songs, yes. and then you also run a ministry. Yes. And this Friday, you're launching your new EP. Yes. What is it called? Exalt. Exalt. Yes. How many songs? Six? Five. Five songs. Yes. And it's going to be available to everyone to listen to? Yes. yes. All right. What does it take to attend a concert this Friday? Um, you just need to just prepare and come. It's free? <laughs> it's free. Oh, okay. Yeah. Give us the details. Okay, so it's on uh, Friday, 6 p.m. Okay. at the Hall of Power, um, Lashibi, High Power Ministries International. Okay. Right from 6.30 p.m., the program starts, and there's also going to be another live recording because we are releasing a new single this year to call Glory. And so we ask everyone be seated by 6 p.m. Okay. So the recording can start. Yeah. So you are recording the entire thing. So when we come, we must look TV ready. Yes. Can just walk in in your, no. <laughs> uh, you know, regular clothes. Oh no, no. no okay. No, no. And this recording is going to be the video for the songs. So we had the live recording last year. So we are launching this EP, and then we are recording a new one this year too. All right. Yes. I see. You guys had a project on sanitary pads. Yes. Yeah. All right, tell us about it. Okay, so um, our ministry has this aspect where we do this philanthropic humanitarian um, project. And so we visited a school in Bachona. Okay. And uh, okay. we learned that most of the girls there, they struggle to buy the sanitary pads. So during the month of uh, menstruation awareness, we decided to go and then donate some sanitary pads to the students and also some drinks just to create the awareness and then make it available for them. Yeah. That's amazing. Yes. What are you doing this year? Yeah, well we, the, this year um, there's another project called the Power Missions okay. where we offer free medical screening to communities. Um, the early parts of this year went to um, the northern region in February. We uh, visited about six different communities and offered free medical screening and uh, medications. Another thing we are planning to do this year is to offer free eye screening to create awareness on glaucoma yeah, and then cataract. So that's one thing we are doing at the ending of this year. That's amazing. God bless you. God bless your ministry. Amen. We wish you all the very best this Friday. Um, I like that it's a rehearsal for heaven. So we all come dressed yes. and ready for this rehearsal. Yes. It's happening on Friday at 6 p.m. It's called Melodies of the Lamb. Yes. And I've been talking to Pastor Deborah Deb. Yes. 
and Apostle Eric there. Thank you so much for coming. Shortly, we're going to be talking about TikTok. Are you on TikTok? What do you use your TikTok accounts for? Is it for dancing videos?